Hi, my name is Jonas. Um, I had a little break this week. I was busy with other stuff in real life. So finally I got time to take a look at Unreal Engine again. And I decided to take a look at um, head movements and AI. So first of all, meet Bobby. Bobby, where are you? This is Bobby. He's a mean motherfucker, as you can see, with beard and stuff. I haven't fixed all the textures, but anyway, uh, just a character I made from uh, Fuse. So, this Bobby dude, he is sharing my animation um, blueprint. So, uh, me, my player, and Bobby, we are sharing the same animations. And. First of all, let me just demonstrate what uh, I've done and then I will explain how I did it. Because that's usually what people are looking for, at least what I'm looking for. So, basically, if I approach Bobby, he will uh, notice me and he will follow me around. As you can see, maybe it's visible here. You can see maybe if I move over here, his head is turning against me. So, I nicked this from a, another tutorial, but I went on and built a little bit on it. So, if I walk out up here, you will also look up at me. So, what are you doing up there, guy? And if I come over here and I crouch, he was, he was gonna <laughs> look down and say, look kind of, what the fuck are you doing down there, buddy? With light coming out of your head. So, and another little thing I added on to this uh, tutorial uh, was that if I, he, was, he will follow me, but if I turn around the corner and will, I will break line of sight, he will not be able to see me anymore. So if I sneak around this corner, he will see me and he will turn his head. If I come outside his uh, vision, he will stop looking at me and return to neutral. So. That's what I've been doing. Um, so let's take a look at how it's done. Um, inside, most of this stuff, actually all of this stuff is made inside uh, the animation blueprint. And um, starting off the, not that one, the event graph, uh, we have our trusty uh, event blueprint update animation. And this is starting to be a, kind of a mess, but anyway, so I decided to uh, encapsulate this inside a function. So uh, I have made a function called turn head to player, taking um, a reference to himself, because this is run by both me and Bobby. So this is Bobby, uh, or this could actually be me, and this is uh, a reference to me. My uh, the player, so this is obviously only working for a single player game so far. And then it's also taking a socket name because it uh, we need to tell what Bobby should be looking at. So if we step inside this one, uh, we have a, a lot of stuff going on. The first thing here is just a, a bunch of initial settings of some variables and uh, I won't go into detail with that but it's just basically setting all the the parameters coming in as uh, local variables so I don't have to drag all these uh, lines and end up with a bunch of spaghetti. So um, and after that I check if uh, I'm myself uh, so I make sure that I don't track myself so let's take. Uh, let's assume that we are Bobby for now. Then this will be Bobby, and this will be me, our player. So in that case, this will interrupt true. So then I have a distance. Uh, so how far will I look for me? How how far away will I be from Bobby until he notices me? And that's just getting a distance from me and to uh, from Bobby to me. And if that's uh, is within our view distance, which is a variable on here, we saw for this demonstration just set to 600. You can play around with that. Um, so if I'm outside of uh, his vision range, then I will turn his head to neutral. I have this turn head to. A few places which is another function I've just made so uh, this is just to avoid having to repeat some stuff 
And this function, let's quickly take a look at this because it's really simple. Um, it takes a head rotation uh, as a parameter and a uh, head turn speed. And if we step into that, uh, we can see the head rotation is the uh, desired rotation we, we want to be. And the rotation, uh, the head rotation is the current rotation. So basically that's just uh, our variable uh, on our blueprint. And this is just the world de delta and the interp speed is what we uh, feed in as a head turn speed. And then we just set the head rotation after using this r interp tool. So returning to the function, uh, here we just check if we have a valid socket. And if we have a valid socket, uh, if, um, if we don't have a valid socket, sorry, then we will look at uh, the target, which will be me, or me as a player, location and set that look at target location variable to my location that means that he will basically look at my um, center uh, kind of like here in the middle uh, but in case i feed it in with a circuit i can tell it uh, to look at the head or at his hand or whatever so that's kind of nifty i think um, and then we continue down here uh, to get it's basically the same up here as up here, but I just use get socket location instead and then take the socket name that I fed into the the function initially. And anyway, once we uh, end up having a target to look at, uh, we continue and get um, a reference to ourselves. Um, and if uh, that is, is valid. I can't remember why I have this check. Mm, I think I've got some exceptions. Uh, it will um, make a trace line from our self up to our target and say if we hit, basically, uh, then he can see us. And then he will start to, to turn his head using this turn to down here. Um, we may just make this a little bit smaller. And if we can't see this uh, anymore, or if it's, it's not an, uh, uh, an actor that he's looking at, it, for example, he's uh, hitting a wall, then he will slowly return his head to uh, neutral. And that's why we use the turn head to again. So that's two places where we have it already, and then two times over here. So it makes good sense to have this. Anyway, all the magic uh, happens in this area called head rotation calculation stuff. And I must admit, I had a little trouble um, getting my head around this. So, um, yeah, well, basically, it will take the socket location, uh, find the head rotation, uh, uh, find the look at rotation relative to uh, what we are looking at. Um, so in this case, uh, since this is our self and this is, uh, uh, this is, oh, sorry, this is not our self, this is Bobby and this is our player. So we'll find a uh, look at rotation and then it will uh, break this rotation. This, this part down here is uh, the calculation that makes him look up and down. And this part with the pitch, where I'm negating the value and put it feeding it into the row, I have no idea why that works actually, but it didn't work uh, when I used row, uh, minus row. Um, if I, I figured that it was row that I had to use, because when I was testing this, uh, I have um, row, head rotation here. So if, for example, I move this, you can see his head is going up and down. Hello. Uh, and pitch is, where is pitch? Oops. Pitch is tilting his head from side to side. So for some reason this works. <laughs> and uh, I haven't really bothered anymore trying to figure out why it worked. But yeah, so just copy this if you're interested in this solution. 
So the part up here uh, is where I break the rotation for the the yaw, which is uh, turning from left uh, left to right. Whoops, uh, very lively. Okay, so zero that again. Um, yeah, and also just copy this if uh, you just want to get it to work. Um, the other guy that I uh, got this from, he had a way better explanation for this than I can provide. So, uh, and anyway, what we have at the end here is saying that if his head is outside our local max head yaw, which is set to something, I think max uh, local head yaw is just set to default uh, some degree, uh, 85. Um, and if it's outside that, it will return his head to neutral again. And otherwise, it will set his rotation to the rotation that we made down here. So, that's um, how, what we did. Um, I don't think uh, I forgot anything. Let's take a quick look at it again. So, let's go. He says hi. And he looks away, and he looks, and he keeps following us, and when I break line of sight, he looks away, and all that stuff. Ooh. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Um, hope you liked it, and if you have questions or anything, just let me know. Bye-bye.